You got a call coming in? Okay. Uh, you know, our, our young men played hard tonight. I um, thought there was a great crowd there. There's a lot of excitement in the air from, for both schools. Um, Coach Bobo does a great job with their guys. Um, we got off to a really fast start, was what we wanted to do. So I was really proud of those guys and, and how they played. Um, I was really proud of Acefo, his first game back. Uh, you know, Jeremy Irwin, his first game back. Addison Gillum, um, all those guys. It was fun to see them uh, do well, and it was uh, um, fun to see us be able to run the football the way we did, um, something we've been working on hard. So uh, um, tip my hats to uh, Colorado State. They're going to have a good year this year. I bet you they go to a bowl again. Um, they've got some good football players. Um, and uh, um, I'm very impressed with uh, how hard they kept playing. I really am. So I'll take any questions. Well, it's just one game. You know, we had too we had too many turnovers. We haven't done that in the past. Fumble the ball. We've got to fix that, and we'll fix it. Um, we'll fix it this week. I promise you. Um, I, but our young men know where we're headed and what we're doing, and that was one of a lot we have left, I hope. Right. Yeah, you always want to win your first game, um, but it's it, it, true coachism, but it's truth. It's one out of the next, um, we have 11 more regular season games and hope a lot more after that. So uh, it's one of, the, one of the first, but yes, it's always good to come out, start out good. There's no doubt about it. It gives a lot of momentum to those young men because you've been coaching them for 29 practices and they kind of get tired of hearing you <laughs> if, if they want to be honest. And so now you, it kind of validates what you've been telling them. It validates the work. So they'll come back um, ready to listen hard um, Monday because we got a lot of things we got to correct. Uh, well, we were moving the football, and um, you know, we, we haven't been in that situation a lot. There was still 14 minutes to go in the game. Uh, there's still a whole fourth quarter um, in that area. So, uh, um, yeah, he, he should have slid. We've been working with him sliding. I guess he just won't slide, so I need to get him out of there. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, this is the best football team we've had since I've been here. And uh, we have good depth, and we have good football players, and um, we've got to keep them healthy and keep working in the right direction. And, you know, they're extremely focused. Uh, you know, when you have an older team, you know, Thursday we had a walkthrough. Um, it's by far the best walkthrough we've had three years in one game, um, by far. I mean, when you, I'm up there, I'm watching it in our indoor from the perk, perch up there and um, watching it, and uh, I kept going. I kept going, wow, this is pretty amazing how well they're doing at this. Nobody's getting on anybody players are saying coach redo the play they're communicating with each other um, our special teams went really smooth and uh, our kicker is completely healthy now as you saw tonight he's got a leg and a half and we've always said that he's now it's his first time he's he showed it some last year but I think tonight he kind of put on a uh, showed you what he really has which help really helps our football team Oh, I thought we did some good things. You know, when we watch film, we'll have a lot to correct. You know, the fumbles we cannot have, period. And we haven't been doing that, and, we, and we'll fix that. We won't do that. Um, and, you know, and then the uh, should have got into the red. One of the plays there, um, Sefo got flushed a little bit. The guy was open, and we had a mess up in the line there on a sprint out, which would've, we would have walked in the end zone. But the good side of it is we executed our field goals really well. You know, last year we had some blocked early in the season. We didn't have any block today. Uh, our protection was excellent. Our holder, we had a new holder. We had a true fresh. We had a uh, freshman, a redshirt freshman snapper. Um, so I thought all of that was positive, being able to do that. But we need to score more. We we were 100% in the red zone, but you'd rather be 100% in touchdowns. Um, I thought that was really good. We've been working on that. Yeah, we've been working on that. You know, again, um, we're reaching for the end zone. We need to keep it high and tight and get in the end zone. Uh, we were very very fortunate there. Um, that we came away with that football. But our kids scrambled for it and got it, which is Alex Kelly. I congratulated him in there, and, the, and the, he'll remember that for his life. But I'd rather Seth will hold on to it and score. No, we, we talked to them hard. Um, they were ready for that. It's the first time we've been in that situation against a, a good football team. 
Uh, and uh, we did come out and answer the bell. We just didn't get in the end zone. We had to kick two field goals. But we did move the football. And we still kept playing hard on defense. So I was pleased with their effort. I didn't feel like there was a letdown. We just didn't. We had to kick two, a couple field goals. From the outside looking in, it looks like that the leader has changed in the program from, from inside the locker room. Does it feel like that? Oh, yeah. Um, it, it's been changing. Um, it's just we got to keep doing it on the field. And that's what everybody sees. I see it every day. Um, and I've seen a change. There's no doubt. Um, but we've had to keep have to keep stepping in the right direction. Now we got to see how we'll handle having a little bit of success really early, you know. And uh, so we've got to handle handle that correctly. And uh, so we'll see what the guys are made of on Monday. So when you jump out to a big lead like that, you know, twenty one nothing, twenty four nothing. I'm sure a lot of your guys are very excited, very hyped up. How do you keep them kind of level to get through the rest of that game as a coach? Well, a lot of things you talk to in those situations, you're you're telling them. Um, number one, keep playing like it's zero to zero. Okay, you always say that. Um, but the other thing is, is to find a way to finish the game. Go ahead and put them away. And uh, you know, we we had a chance there to put them away a little quicker than we did. And I would like us to be able to do that. Um, we had a couple of opportunities where we could have scored touchdowns, and we had to kick field goals. We kind of put it on away. Um, so we keep talking to them about that. Keep finishing every play. Is what you keep preaching to them. Yes. It's a huge weapon. Yeah, it's a huge weapon. Um, if we can, if hopefully, we kick the ball off as many times as we did. If we can kick it off eight times and they only return one, your percentages are very good. Um, so that's what we need to make sure we keep doing. Well, I, I think, you know, tasting winning is, is important. Um, doing it like that's important too. Um, but they, I think. The thing that it'll teach them is they can keep doing it, put it back to back to back to back um, in a game, um, which we did there. Uh, and I, I was, you know, I was concerned when we got up so quick, okay, how are we going to handle this? We haven't done it before. You know, that's kind of went through my mind for a second. And I said, we just kept on them and kept on them. And I could see in the kids' eyes they weren't going to back down. They weren't goofing off. They were into it. And when I, I felt that's like what I would see, and I did see that, so that, that was very encouraging. Yes, sir. Um, I, we've got one game left. We, we're gonna, we're, we'll enjoy this one tonight. We'll work on it tomorrow, and we'll get ready to play Idaho State. That's what we'll do. Thank you. 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 Mark never